Hello everybody. I am Dr. Deep Chandraja, cardiac electrophysiologist, Kaveri Hospital, Chennai. What is a leadless pacemaker? What is a pacemaker, first of all? Who patients or who are the patients who need a pacemaker? There are people or there are patients where heart rate can slow down and that's because heart has electrical wires within. There could be a break in these electrical wires which can slow down the heart rate and these are the patients who might need a pacemaker well the conventional way of placing a pacemaker is to place it beneath the skin beneath the left or a right collarbone and this pacemaker which we call the pulse generator is the battery that sends electrical impulses to the heart how does it send electrical impulses through electrical wires there are wires that are connected to this battery and go inside the heart and then they emit electrical impulses which are captured by the heart and that results in a heartbeat so this will help the heart rate fasten up or speed up and doesn't allow the heart rate to slow down this is the conventional way of placing the pacemaker but then as you see the size of the conventional pacemaker compared to that of a coin it's fair enough a bit a bit larger than the size of the coin I would say but then would you be surprised by something which is smaller than this coin that's the world's smallest pacemaker which is called the leadless pacemaker as you can see this is smaller than the size of this coin. This is the what we call the lead less pacemaker. This pacemaker is a battery by itself and it can electrical it emits electrical impulses from its one of its ends and this is directly placed into the heart. They are directly placed into the heart and hence this battery emits electrical impulses which are captured by the heart and thus raises the heart beat. So this small pacemaker does not need an electrical wire. So the conventional way of placing the pacemaker is beneath the skin. You might have a skin incision. That may be a lump that the patients might feel and there could be electrical wires. There will be electrical wires that get inside the heart. But what happens in a leadless pacemaker? The pacemaker is directly placed inside the heart muscle. And how does the doctor do that? The doctor does that by taking a long catheter from the right side of the groin to the heart. He uses the x-ray to position the catheter inside the heart muscle and then the heart the catheter releases the releases the leadless pacemaker into the heart muscle. This is all done under local anesthesia and the duration of this procedure is usually not more than 30 minutes. The conventional pacemaker procedure might take one and a half hours and could be done under local anesthesia even but most of the times I would prefer to use a conscious sedation but in these patients of leadless pacemaker all we need is a right groin axis number two local anesthesia and the duration of the procedure is 30 minutes this is good fantastic there's only one disadvantage with this leadless pacemaker this leadless pacemaker cannot defibrillate it cannot deliver shocks for patients who might need a defibrillator, probably this might not be the choice. Then when does doctor use this leadless pacemaker? Usually he prefers to use this whenever he does not have veins that connect to the heart. When a patient for example has some veins or anomalous veins or different vein anatomy which cannot take the veins to the heart, the neck veins to the heart, these are the patients a leadless pacemaker can be placed using the veins from the leg. and then very elderly patients typically more than 80 years of age where the chances of infection are high the chances of opening the skin placing a pacemaker inside and it would increase of course there would be some chances of an infection to mitigate these chances of infection the doctor can prefer to place this leadless pacemaker directly through a catheter this is all about the leadless pacemaker for today thank you